James Monroe, the fifth president. James Monroe is our fifth U.S. president. He was born on April 28, 1758, in Westmoreland County, Virginia. He passed away on July 4th, five years after Adams and Jefferson in 1831. He passed away in New York City, but is laid to rest here in Richmond, Virginia at Hollywood Cemetery. James Monroe was born into a planter's family in Westmoreland County, Virginia. He had four siblings and his grandfather was from Scotland with the original spelling of their name being M-U-N-R-O. At age 11, he found himself only being able to attend school for 11 weeks out of the year as the rest of the time he had to work as a planter and farmer with his parents. By age 16, both of his parents had passed away and he needed to take care of the farmland as well as his siblings. At that time, a man named Joseph Jones, who was a member of the House of Burgesses, took he and his siblings in. At this time, he introduced him to men, such as Thomas Jefferson, Patrick Henry, and George Washington. Monroe helped storm the governor's palace in opposition of the Intolerable Acts. This was one of his first great feats as a militia or military man. In 1776, he quit college and joined the Continental Army. He was a part of George Washington's attack of the Hessians at the Battle of Trenton. He nearly died from a severed artery at this event. He is featured in the famous painting, Capture of the Hessians at the Battle of Trenton. Monroe was the last of the presidents to be a Revolutionary War hero. After the war, he continued his law studies under Thomas Jefferson until 1783, at which time he graduated from the College of William and Mary. He married Elizabeth Courtright and they had three children. He served as a delegate for the Congress of the Confederation of Virginia for three years. He was a U.S. Senator for four years. For four years, he was also the fifth U.S. Minister to France, during which time he helped negotiate the Louisiana Purchase. He was the fourth U.S. Minister to the United Kingdom for four years. He was the 12th and 16th Governor of Virginia, the seventh Secretary of State, and served as Secretary of War also, both under James Madison. And finally, he was our fifth president. His first term began in 1817 with a vice president of Daniel Tompkins. Monroe served two full terms in office, during which time he wrote the Monroe Doctrine. This doctrine warned other nations from interfering or colonizing in the Western Hemisphere. During his administration, we also gained five new states, bringing the total to 24. And because he followed Madison and the War of 1812, there was a euphoria in the nation. His time period in office is referred to as the era of good feelings because of this euphoria. It is also because of the War of 1812 that he was unable to first move into the White House when he took presidency.